Okay, guys, gals, listen up. This is what I want you to do. I want each of you to step forward and take one of these borders bags, which contain the four books we're going to read this semester. All right. They're very special books, and they each remind me in some way of each of you. Aww. But before you take the books, I want you to take one of these glasses of sparkling cider, and I want each of you to make a toast. We're each gonna make a toast for change. And what that means is, from this moment on, every voice that told you you can't is silenced. Every reason that tells you things will never change disappears. And the person you were before this moment, that person's turn is over. Now it's your turn. Okay? Okay. You ready to get this party going on? Oh, I have a boyfriend since I was like 11, you know? I believe you. <laughs> okay, well, I was always the person I was gonna get pregnant before I turned 16 and drop out. Like my mom. Ain't gonna happen. Nobody ever listens to a teenager. No, everybody thinks you should be happy just because you're young. They don't see the wars that we fight every single day. And one day my war will end. And I will not die. And I will not tolerate abuse from anyone. <laughs> I am strong. My mom's kicked me out when I got jumped into the gang life. But I like her to see me graduate. I like to be 18. Ms. G, can I read something from my diary? That'd be great. Who is he? Man, he's been with us since freshman year, fool. What's his name? I don't know. The summer was the worst summer in my short 14 years of life. It all started with a phone call. My mother was crying and begging, asking for more time. I said she were gasping for her last breath of air. She helped me as tight as she could and cried. Her tears hit my shirt like bullets and told me we were being evicted. She kept apologizing to me. I thought I have no home. I should have asked for something less expensive at Christmas. On the morning of the eviction, a hard knock on the door woke me up. The sheriff was there to do his job. I looked up by the sky, waiting for something to happen. My mother has no family to lean on, no money coming in. Why bother coming to school or getting good grades if I'm homeless? The bus stops in front of the school. I feel like throwing up. I'm wearing clothes from last year, some old shoes and no new haircut. I kept thinking I'd get laughed at. Instead, I'm greeted by a couple of friends who were my English class last year. And it hits me, Mrs. Gerwell, my crazy English teacher from last year, is the only person that made me think of hope. Talking with friends about last year's English and our trips, I began to feel better. I received my schedule, and the first teacher is Mrs. Gerwell in room 203. I walk into the room and feel as though all the problems in life are not so important anymore. I am home. <laughs> 